Hello, lovers everywhere. Hello, hello, hello. I welcome you to Robin's Realm Readings. I thank you for being here at my channel. If you have come across this reading, you were intended to hear it for some reason or another. Okay, um, thank you so much, everybody, for all your love. Before I start, let me tell you what this reading is. It's a follow-up to my last DM, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. I am not talking about twin flames. I am talking about soulmates of one form or another. I'm really referring to true love energy at its highest regard for you, your heart, your soul, your mind, your life force, everything you do, uh, and who supports you. What energy supports you? What's going to lift you up? What's going to secure any kind of a relationship with you? So what I have done, loves, is I decided to follow up to see who might break the silence. Uh, I'm kind of considering this. Spirit keeps saying, make it till October. So I'm going to do July, August, September, October. Four, one for each month for you guys. But I have to tell you something cool. I laid these cards down. The reading is going to be the True Love Reading Cards by Belinda Grace. Attract and create the love you desire. We have the um, Oh my god, my brain. Which is Tarot. And then we have, of course, the Tarot of Sexual Magic to go into the more intimate part of the relationship. I have a third deck here for drawing upon clarity on these. I'm also bringing a Journey of Love passage card and an oracle of visions so with that I'm going to start by saying I love you I'm bringing you the best that I can I know that things are odd sometimes this shifting is the best way to separate the weed from the weeds right the weed the you know the what do they say weed from the tares um, and and to clear the clear the path for you to really be able to attract that person to you right one way or another. It is a divine will. It is laws of attraction. Laws of the universe have to be used. You have to clear your path if you want them. Otherwise, you make sure that your path is cleared for yourself, that you're in line with yourself. You know, yin yang. Right? I don't know how I'm doing that. I wonder if I could do that at the same time. I don't know. But you understand. So, here we go. I'm going to start with my sacred holy mess, which is an anointing oil in a bottle. I sell this if you want this. It's really amazing. Everybody loves it. And I'm going to start with a uh, solar plexus bell. presence of the white light, bring me into the presence of the real messages, truth, light, universal mind of love. Bring me into love energy. Thank you so much. Holy Spirit, thank you. Divine, loving, benevolent energies. Um, pray that you sedate and calm down the darkness and the deceit and the mis malfunctioning of relationships and bring people to their peace. Bring people back to themselves and remind them of their journey. It's really about being one with source. Thank you for this time. Amen. All right, here we go. So I'm going to tell you something cool before I do this. What? So I, I was, I'm was i like sitting here, what? I shuffled these guys, all of these. I'll shuffle them again. So before I pick these up, Spirit said, look at the bottom. How's that for an interesting start to a love scenario? I think it's great. However, it's also followed by... Oh, I better get me a crystal. Hold on, hold on a minute. Where's my fabulous crystal? All right, here we go. Two of Cups. Moral of the story. Two of Cups. Someone you used to see, someone you want to see, or someone who wants to see you, someone who can see you, whether they're in your presence or not. This is a divine connection. 
and it is the just topic for discussion at this moment. Thank you, Spirit. We're going to take a look right now, and I'm going to quickly look at these. This is the main love energies between those of you who have established yourself not to take less than the best, who've established yourself uh, to be the best, who's established yourself not to play games anymore, to be a, be a serious soul on the planet, hoping to attract or actually attracting or actually with the partner that will bring you into divine alignment in a relationship. No, they're not you, but they feel like a part of you. Bear with me while I put my cards up. Okay. So, there's a leaf on my table, and I swear it's driving me crazy. Here we go. My loves. The silver waterfall. Wow. So, you know, this is uh, letting things flow. Of course you have a swan here. It's about love. You have the rainbow. You know, sometimes the romance angel cards will say, your, uh, your actual partner is different from your usual expectation and type. There are two birds flying over the waterfall. It's very nourishing energy. It's healing. Look at all the plants and flowers. Crystals popping out of the side there. This is very healing. Whoever painted this for this deck did a great job. Um, but the energy is that of duality and oneness coming back to get coming together in a really super healing way um man that is absolutely beautiful let's see if there's a message for you here the true uh many people feel that they're always picking up on other people's negative energy and they want to know how to protect themselves from this unpleasantness they perceive the negativity to be out there and believe that if they could shield themselves from it they would feel better the truth is that we all carry negative and positive energies. And we all have times in our lives when we feel low. To feel truly lovable and abundant, you need to be able to engage with whomever and whatever comes to you without feeling like you need some form of defense. Not only does your aura or personal energy field experience the highs and lows of everything that's going on around you, so does your nervous system. And all the cells of your body, you're like a finely tuned instrument that is constantly testing the atmosphere for anything unusual, unfamiliar, or threatening. It's all out there, but barricading yourself against the world is not the solution. The best way to stay balanced and healthy in a busy world is to raise your own vibration in as many ways as possible. This means eating nutritious food, looking after your body with rest and exercise, feeding your mind with uplifting material like beautiful music books and movies, and of course, regular contact with nature and cleansing yourself at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. This is done not to protect you from anything negative, but as the angels prefer to describe it, to release anything that doesn't belong to you and anything you do not need anymore. This can also be done by following the process called the Silver Waterfall on the next page. It is most beneficial at the end of the day so you don't go to bed with more than you need to. What an interesting message for you guys. The Silver Waterfall. Sit or stand comfortably wherever you can have a private moment. Now imagine yourself standing there under a glorious waterfall of silver energy and light. Let your imagination flow too. Picture a wonderful scene in a rainforest with a silver waterfall pouring out of the sky. Feeling the shimmering energy flowing through and over you. Washing away energy that you don't need anymore or that doesn't belong to you. Feel it or visualize it draining away from the floor and being absorbed by Mother Earth. Let the silver waterfall flow for as long as you need to, picturing as much or as little detail as you like of the energy flowing through your aura, 
through your hair and every cell in your body and let it drain away. Now feel the refreshed light and energy that is all through and around you tingling and sparkling. This was a message. This was a message because a lot of people are in separation. And they really should be together. And something has to happen. And I'm not certain what it will be. Sometimes people have to put down their pride. Sometimes they have to pick up their dignity. Sometimes they have to come clean. Sometimes they have to speak their truth. Sometimes they have to learn to lighten up. Sometimes they need a knock upside their noggin to know you were the one they need to work with to show respect for and love, to heal with, to teach others the methods. Instead of always being in defense, always being worried. And if you find that you're in that energy with somebody, I can see why you would not want to be there. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at... Let's take, a, let's take a general overview of what the mental problem is here in these relationships where they're not together yet. We're also going to look at outside influences as well to see why not, okay? So give me a moment. This is the Oracle of Visions. What is the predominant mindset with both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine energies on the planet at this time? Those who are meant to work together. You know, it's relationships are work. And once you establish a really strong relationship, at least that's what I'm getting from my, my beautiful barber called Salmaran, empoweredrelationships.com, is that you have to understand each other and then you have to set good boundaries. You have to know you're going in the same direction for the same uh, intention. This way the universe says, okay, I can get behind that. Bam. I will give them both uh, energy to see this through. They have to come completely clean with each other. They really have to come clean. This is not just lo love and passion. This is seeing somebody and loving them anyway. Working with their humanity and the co cause of divinity. What is the overall thought process? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to pull one for July, August, September, and October. Wow, you guys. Oh, <laughs> okie dokie. Here we go. Let me take a quick look at these fast. I know the lighting is kind of weird. I'm at the window so I could get some more light and be closer to nature myself. <sighs> Infinity. Eternity. Prosperity. Righteousness. Many faiths. Many beliefs. Destiny. Forty-eight. Not knowing what's in Pandora's box. She opens the box. She feels privileged. It's a mystery. It's something she always wanted to know. What she didn't know was the energy she was releasing when she opened that box. Yes, she was is a divine feminine. Yes, she is royalty. In the spirit world as well. But what she doesn't know is she opened a box that had mischief in it. She wasn't sure what to do with it, and she couldn't back, put it all back in. August. Many of you are in very deep spiritual introspection, and you're getting clear about how you, you believe, and you're making sure that you don't open Pandora's box. This is becoming educated, almost too educated. September is going to be the month of incredible, um, it feels like incredible learning. Mm. I'll look at the meanings of these. And then we have October, which is 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Mm, there's the divine energy. Eleven. I always figure eleven. To me, eleven is soulmate. Twin flame, if you want to call it that. The only reason you're a twin flame is so that you can come back to yourself. You are your own twin flame, just so you know. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at this real fast. This is the, you're all in this state of um, creating right now. This is the magician energy. Striving to achieve an end goal through study, experimentation, dedication, and perseverance. Pause. Yes, yes, yes. We were talking about this when I was so interrupted. So here we have someone who's doing alchemy. They're transforming themselves. They're, um, the facial markings on this guy. Let me see if the light's okay for you guys to see this. I don't know. Let me lay them down. The facial markings uh, for July show um, the beginning and end points of his quest. From base lead to its various stages of purification of the soul to gold. The symbol for gold appears in the center of his forehead, where the third eye chakra is perceived to be. This card is a reminder to stay focused on the goal and to continually apply the required self-discipline. It will be all worth it in the end. Wow. This message is about taking risks, making choices, taking risks in love and life. Our acts invariable result in consequences, both good and bad. So there's a balance to be struck. Unless we try, we will never know. And then in turn, maybe a lost opportunity that will gnaw away if not acted upon. But equally so, are we fully appreciative of the possible repercussions they may result? Pandora's box, August. Whoa. Now this is saying two things to me. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. And it's completely a personal decision. Whether you go back to a relationship you knew before, or whether you completely transform yourself, a calling in a different kind of relationship, it's completely up to you. Absolutely up to you. This is where... I told you this is going to be where a lot of you are going to be really in a learning stage of some kind. Mm. Hmm. Being prepared, being forewarned of something. Part of the process of assessing a situation is the use of intuition and psychic gifts but some circumstances may merit a more analytical approach. So being better informed and armed with a greater understanding of the facts and background to any situation might provide a stronger basis from which to make better decisions. Wow. July, August, September, October. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? What a scenario, what an energy... Gaining perspective, changing, seeing what's most important, taking chances, understanding and taking full responsibility for it, researching, making sure you have the facts, what actually is going on in your life, where are you going, and this is, you're going to inner peace. We're lost in the moment. We're staring into the void, utterly engrossed and transfixed on some specific point or action in the distance. In this state, we are oblivious to time and reality. This woman seated on a column platform stares at a dragonfly, settling on the li lilies below. Its movements become the focal point of her concentration, transforming her into a calming, meditative state in which all other distractions are removed. The numbers on the clock above float away and the recording of passing of time temporarily on hold. She's at one with her universe. All worries, concerns, and negativity fade. In this captured moment of escape, there's only stillness 
and peace. So I see someone who's come full circle. Someone's coming full circle here. Um, let me take a peek. So spirit and universe, help me to have the message for the divine feminine masculines. Who's going to break this silence? Who's going to do it? Let's take a look at each month and see what shows up. Masculine, feminine energies. It'll give me energies of like um, the character of the person. Whether they're male or female, perhaps. You know, this may or may not be your reading. I'm serious. I don't know where you are in your love path. But let's see where you are. Okay, that's enough. Wow, they're just flying everywhere. These two came out for July. Um, the emperor is owning himself. He's owning everything he's done. He's holding gold in his hand. He's holding a gold scepter. He's got a crown on, and he has a, a cup right here. Oh, no, that's not a cup. It looks like a cup, though. He's watching over what he's, his offspring. He's watching over his babies, let's say. These could be children, or they could be kind of, you know, like the Six of Cups is always looking back at the two little kids having fun and playing and being innocent. He's trying to recreate innocence again, and he's trying to do it in your universe and your mind and your heart. Aries Taurus energy doesn't have to be. It has to be you, and you're being self-preserving -preser at this time right now, both of you, masculine, feminine. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius prominently here. All right, is what I see. And what we see is someone that has, they're protecting what they've built. So someone's in this place where they're protecting what they built, okay? Let me have a tarot of sexual magic and find out what the impression is here. Devil, the devil, Capricorn energy. Um, could be Saturn and Capricorn thing, I don't know. But Capricorn has an awful lot to do with um, devious, bonded, bondage, addiction, something like that, a uh, lockdown. I'm serious. I mean it. I'm, I'm, it's very serious energy uh, for somebody. This is Capricorn showing up here. What does this devil want right now? He wants, okay, he wants to keep you in mental bondage. Whoever this is, this is the Nine of Swords. This is mental, emotional bondage, and you're breaking free. Someone's breaking free. Who's breaking free? Well, someone's having a hard time releasing something. Eight of Pentacles came out in reverse. And the Eight of Pentacles in reverse is... Um, someone not working on anything anymore, and it's got them very distressed. Someone has pulled back, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn uh, energy, and they pulled back because they're too distressed. They're too, they're too defensive at this time, and they're trying to protect their third eye. They're trying to protect what they know. Why? There's the emperor again. Maybe it has to do with being separated because of the... Um, right now, for some of you, it's COVID lockdown. You just can't get to each other for some reason. Or you don't want to. You just, like, uh, okay, I'll just stay here and own myself. So I see Aries predominant. Aries and Capricorn. Some Leo. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's take a look at, um, and the bottom of the deck. This actually is coming off to me as someone who wanted something permanently. And this night of, night of, Pentacles is slow-moving energy, finally going to get past some bondages, finally getting past some fears, looking back. He's looking over here at Pandora's box, and he goes, I, I, don't, I have the authority to do this, but I don't know if I want to go there right now with my heart. See the green background? The heart. I don't know if I want to commit to that anymore. I'm just kind of like pulled off. So let me take July. July is showing that people are in separation, they're in um, bondage to something, maybe to each other, maybe the thought of each other, maybe sexual bondage, 
maybe it's causing a distress between the, the, the couple. Um, someone's different from you, and they can't seem to stay out of dominant trouble. Let's take a look at her. What is Pandora's box about? Ace of Cups. I'm so happy she's holding a cup. I'm so happy I have love. I have self-love. And I don't know what to do with it. There are many choices. I know what I want to do with it, she says. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups. So the, the true love is a divine feminine. Um, she's really not looking elsewhere, but it's She's not um, actually offering this cup to anybody at this time. Cancer Scorpio Pisces is really prominent here. This is someone making a true love offer. And this is the partner. And they're looking at you and they're going, well, if I open that again, I know that they're going to give me love. I know it, I know it, I know it. But what kind of love is it? Is it selfish love? Is it kind? Do they have many other choices? Cancer Scorpio Pisces in reverse. Explain to me, um, Tarot of Sexual Magic, what this is. Tell me about this Knight of Cups in reverse and Seven of Cups in reverse. Sexually. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse. There's no sexual energy right now. They're, they're separated. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Here he is upright. There was a time. Seven of Wands right here. So both of you are in self-defense at this time. Tell me about this. Clarify this for me. Ah, Undecisive doesn't know what to do with all this wonderful secrets she has. She's holding on to many things. That's Pisces and that's Aries right there. Wow. What's the outcome? Not making a choice for a while. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm. Let's take a look at this learning card. Interesting reading, you guys. I'm trying to find out who's going to break the silence. So let's see if September brings us silence. A breaking of silence. Tell me who's going to break the silence, please. What is this about in September? Still not being committed yet. Still not coming forward. The High Priest is the Commitment card. It's the Tradition card. It is religion. It is faith. It is higher knowing. You have the High Priestess with this feminine energy, though. And you have the Devil with the masculine energy. Go figure. And the Emperor twice. Uh, I have this feeling that the masculine had a tendency to open up Pandora's box with the feminine, not knowing what he was going to get. She thought she had true love. She just, she closed out all her options for a while and spent her time on this, this emperor, de, 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 uh, earth person. But she was very psychic person. She's very psychic energy. She had to put up her guard because she didn't trust him. Eight of, uh, the, there, the, she, he made her feel like she didn't have a choice. Two of wands and two of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. So the heart fonts in reverse. So right now I don't... Taurus energy, tell me about this. Clarify that. Not working on it. Somebody is so busy at this time, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that they're going to be trying to figure everything out and not actually doing anything positive. It's got me a little pissed. Clarify these. But there will be victory in that the energies will shift in October for sure for somebody. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn may come forward. Yep. And claim their other. I see a fire sign energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I mean, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius will be successful um, on starting something new. The full card. So they'll be successful in starting a new journey. Tell me about this room sexually real quick. What is the energy here? And who is the energy here that they'll be starting with? During this course of learning and, and, and finding out... Who's going to come forward and speak? Tell me. So we have two. I'm sorry. Three of swords. They're going to tell you that they've been in pain. And they're going to tell you that they've made a decision. 
And what is that decision, please? Masculine energy is going to come forward. They want to start with you again. Tell me about it. You are their soulmate. They're someone from your past. And they want to talk to you at least. They want to start up something new with you. But you're all up in your head and they're up in their head. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What is going to happen with this? Give me one of each. Nine of Wands in reverse. Someone puts down their self-defense. Someone puts down their walls. Someone understands something. Knight of Pentacles comes forward. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Solid, grounded offer. I, I might have taken a long time, my love, but I wanted to have peace of mind before I came to you. I wanted to have peace of mind before I came to you and made any kind of an offer, whether it be a truce or a love offer. Three of Cups, but there will be rejoicing because someone has changed and there will be working on the relationship. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh my God. Yep. Yep. Seven of Cups in reverse. You are truly the one that I need. And I've been thinking about it a long time, Hermit card. So it looks to me like you have a strong Capricorn energy, strong water energy, and strong fire energy for the most part. This is between the Devil, the Emperor, the Hermit, and... The High Priestess. That's what you have. That's what this reading is about. I want to say thank you for being here. If you appreciated this reading, I will be doing love and relationship readings uh, in the uh, for the rest of July. Specifically, if you need a career reading or you need to know um, life purpose or something, you know, by all means, go to my website, robinsrealmreadings at gmail.com. Uh, I like to do encouragement. I like to look at these things. But this is just a quick quick look into what's actually going to create peace of mind between these two people. Okay? Nine of Wands putting down self-defense because you don't have anything to worry about. The Knight of Pentacles is coming with a, a solid offer. Wants to spend time with you and rejoice with you and build with you again. This is happening. I love you. Namaste. Bye.